Hey folks, it's Thanksgiving. My name is Danny Crumno, and I am sitting here with my new Christmas present. I realize it's Thanksgiving, but uh, my wife don't know it yet, but she's getting me a CMMG 45 for Christmas. So, I just acquired this thing, and I thought I'd give a quick review on it, <clears throat> and this is the 45 ACP. I've shot it one time, and I'm going to tell you right now that <clears throat> the end here, this is an 8-inch barrel, and this is not what comes on it. Uh, I had this fitted for a suppressor of Obsidian 45 Rugged, which is still in jail. Uh, the reason I wanted 45 was twofold. Number one, 230 grain 45 is subsonic, so this thing is going to be almost movie theater quiet uh, when shot. Uh, the other thing is that after 40 years in the law enforcement field, I quickly find out 9mm was not for me. I've seen people shot, I've uh, shot a lot of animals, I've killed hundreds, maybe thousands of hogs, and uh, nine millimeter is just, to me, not suited for law enforcement. It's too puny of a round. And <clears throat> to give you a couple war stories, uh, my son was attacked on his bicycle by a pit bull one time and I went out to in the middle of the road to retrieve his bicycle and I always carried my 45 pistol and this pit bull charged at me gonna take me down and I hit him one time in the chest and he was spurting blood the, size of your finger when he ran off. He ran off, jumped into a uh, backyard fence, and then I got accused of shooting the dog in the people's backyard. Of course, that didn't fly with all the blood, but uh, nine millimeter, I don't know that it would even stop that dog, because this was head on. I uh, got a call one time as a Sorry. As a policeman to a uh, woman screaming in her backyard. And I arrived to find uh, two pit bulls attacking a show pig in the backyard of this uh, lady's house. And when I got there, of course, when I walked around the corner, they came after me. I killed one on the spot with my 45. I killed the other one after I hit it, and it retreated and ran up underneath a house. So if you want to climb up underneath a house with a 9mm pistol after a wounded, aggressive dog, be my guest, because I'm not going to do it. Uh, I shot a lot of things with nine millimeter including dogs uh, I've never seen one stopped uh, yeah they will run off and die but I've never went seen one stopped my son uh, was hog hunting and had two incidents one where a hog was running at him uh, broad open daylight he shot it at least four or five times before he ever got it stopped. Uh, another time, uh, he walked up on one at night, and he shot that one at least five or six times before he ever got it stopped. So don't talk to me about a 9mm. 9mm, uh, yeah, everybody may be using them because of their capacity, but... I'm sorry, it's not for me. Back to the subject at hand here, the 45 
ACP is a pretty good pistol round. Now the CMMG, and this one is legal, that is a pistol brace there, uh, is chambered in lots of calibers and like I said, I bought this one in 45 ACP and when I looked on the internet, I saw very little about 45 ACP at a distance. Well, I, I kind of knew uh, I can easily hit a man-sized target 100 yards with a 45-19-11. That's not hard to do at all. So I figured that I would at least have a 50-yard gun. Well, <clears throat> I kind of do. Uh, at 50 yards, it, this one shoots just a little bit high, maybe about an inch or so high at 50 yards. And at 100 yards, uh, it drops about 8 inches. Now, I'm shooting uh, reloaded 45 ACP jacketed hollow points. Uh, the CMMG doesn't jam anything. Uh, it's been a hundred percent. I don't have my suppressor yet, but I can tell you that CMMG does make a bolt weight that should help should it jam once the suppressor is uh, added. Now the reason they jam is the suppressor adds a lot more back pressure and I don't know if this one will act like that or not it just remains to be seen but I'm shooting with a hollow sun I believe this is a 510 I don't know but anyhow uh, at a hundred yards the bullet always hits within the circle uh, like I said it drops about eight inches or so at a hundred yards when it's shooting a you know inch or so high at 50. Now there's videos on the internet of a guy that shoots a 45 ACP at something like 400 yards 500 or something like that and this thing is going all the way through a two by four and a three quarter inch piece of plywood so it has plenty of power as long as you can hit and it does drop but if you're buying a gun such as the CMMG with the sharp barrel now these come in a five inch I like I said I got the eight uh, they will shoot a little faster a little flatter but if you're buying them to target shoot with don't get a 45 get a nine millimeter bullets are cheap and my son can just take one of these and wear a target out a four inch plate at a hundred yards no problem and they ding loud enough for you here if you hit them with a 45 they're definitely going to ding and they're going to flop around and all that the 45 it just got so much power I have killed a lot of hogs with the 45 just walking out in the field using my pistol and kill one. Uh, I've killed one at uh, I'll shoot almost 200 yards with one one time and I'll admit it's a lucky shot but I mean I hit him in the ear 200 yards he went down right there. The CMMG uh, the way mine came with a Glock compatible magazine. This supposedly holds 26 rounds. Now that is the only negative that I've really found about this little rifle is that this magazine, I can get about 12 in it, but that's all. My fingers are not strong enough to force them in there. Now it did loosen up considerably. I shot it about all 40, 50 rounds or so. Uh, but it, it was considerably easier to load in there so I highly recommend this this little rifle here it is expensive uh, 
but if you get this in 45 ACP up to 100 yards with the hollow sun uh, sight with the circle and the dot in the middle, I guarantee you, uh, it, it a man at 100 yards is no shot. I mean, it it's it's easy to hit. Uh, this little gun, I'm, you know, I'm thinking what I might do with it, and I, what I'm thinking when I get that suppressor, I may go out and put a thermal on it and try to shoot some hogs, because it will be super Hollywood quiet. But anyhow, I wanted to review it. Uh, you didn't see any shooting. I see lots of them shooting and trying to demonstrate how quiet it is, the suppressor and all that. Uh, like I said, I don't have mine, but uh, this thing shot really good, shot really good groups. I do not have a magnifier on it, and the reason being is that, quite frankly, this isn't a long enough range gun to have a magnifier on. The little hollow sun has that shake awake on it. It also right here has a solar panel on it. And uh, I found it really neat here a few minutes ago when I picked it up, uh, the room was kind of dark and the uh, sight uh, was a little uh, dimmer. As I moved it underneath the lights, it kind of clicked and the sight got much brighter so it automatically adjusts for the uh, brightness of the sun whether you're using it outside or at night or whatever and there's no doubt in my mind up to 50 yards this thing is really deadly if I can hit something uh, at a hundred it'll take it down I don't know, I would kind of like to shoot at say 150 and see if that the bullet would stay within that circle. I really don't have a way to do that right now, but I can highly recommend the CMMG 45 ACP. If you get one of these, just know that it's not a target rifle. Uh, but as far as self-defense, it is excellent. So with that, I'll leave you. Uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them below in the video. Thank you for watching.